<laughs> so in one final twist in the Reggae Girls World Cup second round spectacle, my genuine hope is that the Reggae Boys are looking and seeing these gutsy performances and unlikely achievements. And my wish is that they feel jealous and grudgeful and envious <laughs> and then barely burn them. And when they see the 60,000 US dollars each that the girls are gonna earn from doing so well at the World Cup, when the reggae boys peep cross the girl them fence and see these things and feel these feelings, we hope it drives them and motivates them to do what they need to do to achieve at least the men's equivalent of what the girls are achieving. The basic fundamentals. First of all, they need to want it and be prepared to go for it. They need to stick together. They need to believe and then they need to prepare for war. <laughs> yes, yes. Those are the intangible differences between the overachieving Reggae girls and the underachieving reggae boys. So boys, them so no muscle peep cross fence. <laughs> yes, yes. But in this case, on a peep over the girl them fence and look and learn peep over the <laughs>